Okay, next let's look at a composite transformation of two reflections across lines that intersect. So figure S is given here, and it's reflected across line one to give us figure S prime. And what we want to try to do now is draw in a reflection of S prime across L2. And that's going to be tricky, but let me help get you started. And let's just start with this segment right here. Let's think about this point and going straight to the line and then continuing the same distance over here to get a point here and then do the same thing with the, the elbow right here. And Let's go straight to the line and continue the same distance and we get a point over here, something like that. Now you don't have to draw in these lines that I drew. You might want to sketch them faintly but you need to arrive at this segment over here. Now what can help is recognizing that, that these are perpendicular, the way he's holding his arms there. So we can over here, we can draw perpendicular, something like that, and something like that. And so this segment here would correspond to this. If done perfectly accurately, if done exactly right, then that segment right there would be perpendicularly bisected by L2 and so would so would this segment right here and what we have is not bad and then let's draw in the, the neck and head over here and his body is gonna come down well let's try that again about about like that and then his legs and feet and again if it's done accurate those distances would be the same and this I would say is good enough just for a little freehand drawing there it is S prime prime now if you turn the page in the notes or look at the next diagram you'll see an accurately drawn picture this was done with the computer so this should be exactly correct there's and you can label these S and S prime and S prime prime and what, what I want you to see here is that the second reflection here or these two reflections together that's one reflection and then another these two reflections together across line L1 and L2 that intersect those two end up being a rotation about the point of intersection so this point down here where the lines cross these two reflections together are equivalent to a rotation about that point if we just took figure S and took this point as the center of rotation and let him slide around there he would end up at exactly S prime prime so mathematically we can say that the composite of two reflections across intersecting lines is equivalent to a rotation about the point of intersection. I'll say that again. A composite of two reflections across intersecting lines is equivalent to a rotation about the point of intersection. Now let's think about these angles again just like we um, thought about the distances with the, the translation, let's think about the angles involved in the rotation. Okay, look at this diagram. Let's take this first point over here and we'll call it point P. And it's reflected across L1 to give us point P primed, so let's label that. And then P1 is reflected across L2. We'll call this point P prime prime. Now let's draw in some lines and give some angles some names here. So first draw in from point P to the point of intersection down here. And let's call this angle right here, call that A. So that you can think of a certain number of degrees. That's A degrees. If you imagine this line that I drew right there hinged right here at the bottom, and think of this line in a rigid fashion swinging up here to this point, then it would swing through A, A degrees. And then draw in also from that point of intersection up to P prime. So this, let me try that again. Okay, so this also will be A. You can see based on the symmetry of the picture that those two angles have to be the same. Now think about 
this reflection here of point P reflecting across, or point P primed reflecting across to P prime prime. And let's draw in this third line from the point of intersection up to P prime prime. Okay, hopefully you can see that these two angles will be the same. So let's call this one B, and that would also have to be B. So B is a certain number of degrees, and so is A. Okay, now look at A and B, and specifically look at this A and this B. Okay, the angle of intersection between two, the two lines, between L1, if I look at this angle right here, the angle between L1 and L2, that angle right there, you can see that's A plus B. A and B together give me that angle. So write that in your notes. The angle between L1 and L2 is A plus B. Then you can see that the magnitude of the rotation is double that because if you look at this, this segment that I'm marking in red here and this one over here, okay, whoops, Okay, that angle, you can see right there, that's 2A plus 2B. So write that in your notes, 2A plus 2B. Okay, so earlier we said that two reflections across intersecting lines is equivalent to a rotation about the point of intersection. And now we can see that the magnitude of the rotation, which will be the angle, how much rotation, is twice the angle that's formed by those intersecting lines. See that right here. Those lines form an angle A plus B and the rotation from P around to P prime prime is 2A plus 2B.